Hello everyone, welcome to my weird and wonderful world and today I am ranking and rating all the like 10 Spider-Man movies. That will be including the three Tobey Maguire's, the two Andrew Garfield's, the three Tom Holland's and the two Miles Morales ones. I am going to include the animated ones because I do feel that they are full-fledged movies too. Now, I will have to admit, first of all, that the only movies I actually do own of Spider-Man are the two Amazings, Amazing 1 and Amazing 2, and of course the uh, the two uh, Spider-Verse ones. For And yes, I know, I need the Tommy McGuire ones and I need the... Uh, the Tom the Tom Holland ones now I am not sure why I don't have them yet I am like this is convincing me that I need to uh, fix that right away so tomorrow I am going to be looking around here and there and and try and I'm going to try to get all the rest all the other six spider-man movies that I don't have I need them I want them there you're gonna see how I rank them and my ranking is going to be a little divisive. I know people are going to disagree with my rankings, but that's fine. You, I mean, what Spider-Man means to you really greatly depends on when you, how old you were when you first saw them, what was the first movies you saw of them. Now, from my perspective, okay, from my ranking, I've been a Spider-Man fan ever since the 1960s uh, cartoon when I was only a young little kid, and and I've always I've always loved Spider-Man. I'm 52 years old, so right I had been waiting for a Spider-Man movie for for like since forever. And when the first and when the first uh, Tobey Maguire movie came out, I was thrilled. I I was thrilled. So I've been, I'm a lifelong Spider-Man fan. Now I know some of you probably started with the Garfield ones, and some of you probably started with the uh, with the Tom Holland ones. That's fine. So my ranking is for me personally, and it, yeah, you'll see what you'll see what I'm talking about. Now I'm gonna stick this aside. Now a couple of side notes before I get with the ranking. You saw this shirt in the uh, thumbnail. I've had this shirt for 20, a little, oh, just a little over 20 years. It's 20 years old. And it, it's the, the strongest, most durable shirt I have ever owned. It's, it's, the, it's top quality. This will never, this will never rip. The, the colors will never fade. It, it's super well made. It's this. It's super strong. It's going to probably last me another fifty years. I'm probably going to. Yeah, I'm going to probably have this. This. This shirt. I love this shirt. It's probably in my top three favorite shirts that I own. Maybe the top shirt I own. I. I love this shirt. And I have also done a uh, a, a video, an ASMR video, where I went through went through this book here is it's the spider-man chronicles i'm not going to go through it today i already did a video for that so you could go back and check it out just go look for it and you'll yeah well watch the whole video first but i'll leave a link to it right here whenever you're ready i i went through that book now let's start with the rankings now is is from least best to the best now mind you okay the first three i have up here and i wish i had a better delivery system like being able to edit this better for you so i can i could do everything on screen but this is what i got for now and you'll and it's it's adequate so the three first ones 10 9 and 8 they're going to they're going to be ranked slightly lower than the rest of them. I could probably have ranked them all 10 out of 10, but the three first ones are going to be ranked 9 out of 10. And then as we go from, from 7 to 1, those are all 10 out of 10s. 
this was a difficult ranking to do for me because I really love certain aspects of each one of them in their own unique way. But when I really had to get down to it, and it took me a good 15 minutes to really to really decide which ones I wanted to be in the in the order. And I have reasons why. I'll try to explain as I go along. Now at number 10, okay? At number 10. It's the Spider-Man 3, the third Tobey Maguire movie. And for obvious reasons, because what makes it the, the worst one, and that's a, and that's a 9 out of 10, so I still really love it, of course, but it's a 9 out of 10, because they, for the, for the reason most people don't like it, it's because they tried to, I, I, I guess it's because of, you know, studio meddling and they, they tried to cram too many uh, superheroes into into one movie. And I'm sorry, Toe for Grace, that's not Eddie Brock. That's not the right type of Eddie Brock. That's not who I would have ever chose or ever pictured as Eddie Brock. So, so yeah, that's the reason why it, it's, at, uh, it's at number 10. I mean, it should be pretty obvious, and most people probably agree with this decision. But at number nine, it's the first amazing Spider-Man with Andrew Garfield. Why is that at number nine? Well, because my favorite thing about Spider-Man is the swinging. It's the web swinging. And I don't think they did a dynamic enough job. They had, you know, they tried to make it a little too realistic. And and he's Spider-Man. He should be able to whip around and, and do all these flips and stuff. But they made him too, a little bit too much of a straight kind of a... Uh, and, I don't know, the villain wasn't super, as super interesting as it should have been or could have been. I mean... They could have made. They could have made his. Uh, he, they could have made the the lizards um, more of a lizard rather than like trying to keep his facial features in in the design. For those reasons, that's why it's still a nine out of ten, and it, it, it's at number nine. Now, at number eight, yeah, the Amazing Spider-Man two, and I understand if you rank those higher or even your number ones because that's the ones you grew up on and that's the first movies you saw of of uh of spider-man and you have special memories of it but for me yeah it's uh it's at the third place and again another nine out of ten and why is it nine out of ten it's because they they kind of fumbled with the with the rhino. That's not the rhino I wanted to see. They and then the, they didn't even they didn't even continue the fight because they didn't make a third movie and they it could have went somewhere awesome. They 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 teased the sinister six and they didn't and they didn't follow through on that for whatever obvious reasons or not so obvious reasons. They just didn't fulfill those those uh, those promises i would have loved to have seen the ending of that of that rhino fight i wish they would have had a better costume for the rhino um i mean i like Myster i love mysterio i didn't think they did uh, they also i don't think they did they did justice to the green goblin in that one they could have made his design a little bit cooler and and yeah, Gwen Stacy. What happened to Gwen Stacy? I, I it was a bit of a downer of a movie. But yeah, they were supposed to be making a third one, so yeah, it, it's just kind of fizzled out. So now all the rest of them, mind you, they're all ten out of tens. They're all awesome, and I love them dearly. But I had to choose an order, and it was so difficult. It was so difficult. So, at number seven, and and it had, of course, this had to be before all these ones because it's the first Spider-Man movie. It's the first Tobey Maguire one, and it just 
And at the time when I first saw it, yeah, I was so happy. So happy that they had finally made a Spider-Man a Spider -Man movie. I had a couple of gripes about it. It's still a 10 out of 10, but yet there's a, still a couple of gripes about it. I didn't like the costume. I thought I didn't like the reflectivity of the webbing on there. I thought that they should have made it more of a flat, dark black rather than have it casting highlights, whatever. I did not like that. I didn't like the eyes. I thought that like all they had, all they would have had to do to make the eyes better was just round it out more. Like the bottom of the eye here, they would have just rounded it out more instead of making it a triangle. Make the lenses more white. It was too reflective. It, I don't know. It that sort of bothered me. Even the glove, even the hands didn't have the classic Spider-Man design. They tried to modify it to make it look a little bit different. And the, and organic webbing. Yeah, okay, it was cool. It was cool, but it's not Spider-Man. It wasn't the Spider-Man. You know, he makes. He's supposed to make his own webbing. So that was reasons for for being at number seven, but still a ten out of ten because it's the first Spider-Man movie and I still have a special love for it. I mean, what, what the pluses are William, uh, William Defoe, William Defoe as the Green Goblin, awesome choice. But again, again, didn't like them. Didn't like the mask. They could have made the original Green Goblin mask. That would have been much better. But still, uh, that's why it's at that's why it's at number seven. At number six, ooh, homecoming. Now that people might say, well, why shouldn't that be higher? Well, because the, the rest of them are, are 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 slightly better. Again, ten out of ten, like all the rest of them will be. But homecoming, yeah, they they it was awesome. I love it, but it had to go somewhere, and the rest I do like just slightly better than 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 the homecoming i'm not going to dwell on it i thought they did a wonderful job i think they could have did a little bit of a better design on on the vulture i i think they could have uh but the whole spider-man aspect him him with the costume his whole thing with tony stark and everything the costume was spot on like like still could have been a better a little bit of a better design like a little bit more of the classic spider-man look but they did they did a, a decent enough job i i'm not knocking that at all so to continue at number five yes spider-man 2 the one with doc ock and fantastic movie it was it and it i mean it way surpassed uh, Sp spider-man for sure the first one it was such the perfect movie at the time i loved it for being the second spider-man movie ever and yeah it was just amazing uh, like <laughs> yeah it was it, it, yeah i don't have any faults with that whatsoever none whatsoever it's like none. I don't have any faults with the rest of these at all. I think they're all fantastic. Well, let's get to it because at number four, Far From Home, loved, loved what they did with Mysterio. I, he, Mysterio had always been my favorite villain of Spider-Man of all time, and and all because ever since the '60s original cartoon, I always loved. I didn't like how they portrayed Mysterio later on in in certain in certain places like video games and that they kind of made him a bumbling fool a little bit, especially in that The Amazing Spider-Man Two video game. Like, no, like, no, he would have, he he would have, he I because I love that whole special effects aspect of it that he that he would he that he worked in special effects and stuff and he was a stuntman and blah 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 that that's what that's what uh mysterio was all about and i think they did justice with with that i think they did a fantastic job so 10 out of 10 absolutely at the number three spot well we're getting down to the nitty-gritty now into the spider-verse 
come on. I mean, animated or not, like, it, it really, when I first saw that for the first time into the Spider-Verse, it was a, I thought it was a love letter to Spider-Man fans. It had everything a Spider-Man fan wanted or needed. It just... It just heightened the whole experience, and it, yeah, there's nothing bad I can say about it. It was a perfect Spider-Man movie. It was just everything I ever wanted in a Spider-Man movie. So that's why it's at number three. Of course, you probably can guess what the next two orders is going to be. I had to put No Way Home at number two. At number two because it was... It, again, it had everything a Spider-Man fan ever wanted in a Spider-Man movie, but live action, in live action, and, ha and, and including all three of the Spider-Mans, the Toby, the, the Garfield, you know, and, and, with, and they're, they're satisfying the memes and stuff. It, yeah, there's not, again, nothing I can say wrong about the, and not just one villain, but they brought back many awesome villains from the, all the previous ones. It had to be, it had to be up there in the list, and almost interchangeable with number one, which is Across the Spider Verse. Now, I will not, I am not ashamed to say that that when I first watched the uh, Across the Across the Spider Verse for the first time, many times in while while, while watching it. I had tears of joy, just tears of joy. I mean, cause it was such. It's a perfect Spider-Man movie. I mean, it's so beautiful. Every frame is a work of art. The multinationality of the movie, how they go so many different places, all the Spider-Mans that they introduced, all the inside jokes, all the references. They couldn't have made a better, most perfect Spider-Man movie. I just, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've watched it like at least four, four or five times now since I bought it like a, a couple of weeks ago. And, whew, yeah, I cannot rave enough. So, yeah, from seven to one, they're all ten out of tens. The first three here are nine out of tens. I mean, that's a pretty damn good good rating for each one of those of course I would say and they're all they're all great and yes 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 I know I've been late to to getting there but I do need and I am going to go out and purchase all the rest of those Spider-Man movies I don't have I need the whole collection and when I get them I might make another video about it so that is it for my uh, my ranking video now, I want to say that these, this ranking video was suggested by two different uh, subscribers and good friends of mine on the internet that, that they don't even know each other. They, they, on two different platforms and everything, but they both, in the same day, they both suggested that I, uh, that I, that I do this. And... Yeah, yeah. You can you know you can go back and probably see them if you go and look at the comments of my last couple of videos, the last two videos, you'll see the little thread down there uh of who commented and 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 everything. I I'm I'm not going to say it on this episode cuz I yeah. I, I want you to go back and look at and watch my other videos because I, I do I think I have great amazing content and it was yeah it, it was actually the last video I made yesterday that where you can see in the comments where they mentioned that I should be I should do a ranking for Spider-Man and you tell me what to do I will listen and I will try to accommodate so that is it for this video I am going to let you go right now, and as always, please be safe. Take care. I will see you on the flip side, and please, everyone, have a great day, evening, night, wherever you may be. Peace, everybody.